and block 19. And it's the tulip stems block, so a little more applique. They're small, really cute little blocks, and they're both exactly the same, so that makes it a little bit easy. easy. So you had one month, and you got your uh, little taste of applique, and so you have a little bit more here. And all of these fabrics were from previous months, so some of them were from last month, I think from my bag from last month. And so you should have plenty of it and the pieces are very small. So I'm not gonna go through cutting out all the applique pieces and all those templates and everything like we did last month because I've already done it. So if you need a little refresher, just look at the videos from last month. But this is raw edge applique that I was going through. Um, now the background is the big 15 and a half inch piece that you got from month six. Okay, so you need two six and a half inch background squares of that light yellow. Start with that. Okay, and then um, so and then of course cut the pieces from the end of your yardage so that you have more pieces to piece from and look at what you have here and how many pieces. So um, as I said, they're both exactly the same. I do a quarter inch stem. So what I do is just take a little bit bigger piece of my um, fusible web and draw a couple long quarter inch stems bigger on them and fuse that to the piece of blue, whatever one I've decided to use. I think I'll use this blue from this month. It's not a pretty blue for my stem. Put it on there and then use a ruler and cut it out. Okay, cut it out a little bit longer so that you could put it up underneath that flower. You have a little bud going the, underneath this piece also. I've also put the ends of my leaves underneath the stem on each end so you don't have to worry about those ends. They stick right underneath. So do that before you press it all down. Make sure it looks nice and even and then press it down afterwards. So that sticks underneath there. That stem sticks underneath the tulip and the leaves stick underneath the stem right there. Okay, and then the only end you have to finish is down there. I am using the same thread all the way throughout, actually all my applique throughout the whole quilt. So it makes it nice, looking nice and uniform. So you have one um, bud that they're making kind of big, but you can cut that down. Now you have two small leaves. You have to do one one way and one reverse. All right, so how do you reverse it? So here, like I have a clear little table, so I could put it here under like a light and see it, or you can put it up against a window and trace it on your fusible. Now, if you have a clear art bin, you can always put it on an art bin with a light inside your art bin. Okay, that could become your little light box. Some of you have light boxes, but you don't have to go out and buy a light box for this. You can always make it work. So you need one small leaf and one reverse leaf for each flower, so two each. And on your large leaf, you need one way and one reversed. And then you have your tulip and your bud. Now, when I'm putting it on my background, I do press a crease down the middle so I know that I'm sitting in the middle and I crease one the other way just so that I know where the flower's sitting and keep in mind your seam allowances so you're not sitting too low or too, too high to cut that off and it looks like it's right in the center okay and then of course you do have to stitch it down I use a little blanket stitch you could do a straight edge stitch you can do a decorative stitch but you do have to stitch it down some way if you're using fusible web. And I do, as a reminder, cut out the centers of my fusible so that it doesn't make it as stiff. Okay, but I talked about that last time also. So that's my colors. That's just a little review of doing the applique. You only have two to do, but they look really, really cute. And so you should be able to get through that pretty quick and easy, both the little stars this month and the cute little applique. And then you'll be ready to move on to next month. So we have four blocks this month to take care of. And then we'll be moving forward. So thanks so much and have fun with it. Bye.